Hi there, it's Zion from LZ Reviews and today I've got a product to show y'all so it's a smart lock, a dead boat, smart dead boat door lock it's from EG Furtor, the model is the T1 so it comes in black color as well as it's a TD lock version there's also a 2L version so the features of this um, there are seven ways of unlocking it. So you unlock by the app, uh, fingerprint, BLE, passcode, the IC card, and an NFC, uh, as well as the mechanical key. So I'll dive right into the unboxing. So you get the spark lock manual right out of the box. It's very helpful. It tells you what you're supposed to get as well as how you install as well as how to use the app you get a mounting uh, template this is very good because um if you have a new door you, you can use this to drill the new hole okay so right out of the box you'll get the outdoor unit it's a very very nice design um uh, it's made out of um, aluminum metal uh, and then you get a plastic uh, protector on it then here's your fingerprint reader uh your passcode is for the ic card and your lock and unlock buttons here is the mechanical keyhole and underneath here we have the usb-c port for emergency unlocking in case there's no battery and here's the speaker and here's the rubber of to check so next we'll have the uh, indoor unit so the indoor unit looks like this. So here's the normal twist and turn dead bolt. So the features of the inner part are the uh, one touch unlocking and locking button. So you do not have to actually manually turn this. You can just press this button and it'll automatically unlock. And then if you want to lock it in, you press and it'll lock by itself. And then this is the um, safety. So in case you only want uh, the admin to come in so you put it at the red so yeah so if it's at the green means everyone in the app can be able to access the lock by the outside so here's the battery cover for AA batteries so this is how it looks from the inside so you have the left and right switch um, then you have the connector from the outside part there's also the reset button and then this is for the door sensor moving on we get the ic cards so you get two out of the box however the seller is very kind to send me extra uh, thank you very much you get the mounting screws so you get the door sensor as well as the physical keys And finally, you get the dead bolt itself. The strike plate with the plastic backing, as well as the screws installed. So there you go. Um, this is what you'll get um, out of the box. And now I will proceed to show you how the, the product works. So this is how the lock looks like from the inside. So you have the dead boy itself, the one touch unlocking and locking button, as well as the admin switch. So currently the door is locked, so I can either unlock it manually, and with the door sensor it will automatically lock, or I can just press this button. So this is how the lock looks like from the outside. So the first way to unlock is using a fingerprint. It's unlocked. Second way is using the RFID card. Third way is using the passcode, 49 digits. And then we can also use the app. 
So we have the app, just touch to unlock. So in the event of an emergency, um, there is the USB-C port there, and then on the left is the speaker. And then another way to open is over here, you just take this out, and you get the key, three sets of these. So you just answer it and unlock it like a normal devil. So um, those are all the ways to unlock. Also, um, I have purchased the extra um, Wi-Fi gateway. So this allows me to unlock the lock anywhere um, as long as I have 4G. Um, but something to take note is that um, the gateway has to be very close to the lock in order to receive a strong uh, signal. Uh, else, if it's um, about 2 meters away, it'll be just medium signal for a week. So this is my door sensor. So instead of the tape, um, I, I had to use screws to screw it into the wood. Um, because um, as you can see, my door frame isn't flat. So I had to chisel it out a bit. Um, yeah, so this is how I installed it. Um, I'll insert a photo to show you how I installed it at first. And that led to the lock not being able to detect whether the door was closed and it sometimes could not lock by itself. So overall, it's a very good quality door lock. Also, with the price tag of just under $100, it is not that expensive. Installation was quick and fast on replacing the old deadbolt. It also comes with a two-year manufacturing warranty. It is a very solid product. Uh, and I would recommend getting it because it is packed with many features, especially when it's combined with the TT Lock app or the Tuya app. So this is the product listing. I will leave it in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has helped you out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment and I will try to help you. Thank you once again. Goodbye.